Today is May 9th, the Feast of St. Gregory Nazianzus. We're going to do a little bit something different today, because today is the day of my wedding to my bride. Please say a prayer for me and for us, for a holy family. We're going to do the readings from the marriage service instead. I'll include a link of a previous video that has the readings for the Feast of St. Um, Gregory Nazianzus, because they're the same readings as St. Peter Canisius from April 27th, so I'll include the link to that. And so let's begin. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. From the letter of Blessed Paul the Apostle to the Ephesians, Let women be subject to their husbands as to the Lord, because the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church. He is the Savior of his body. Therefore, as the church is subject to Christ, so also let the wives be to their husbands in all things. Husbands, love your wives, as Christ also loved the church and delivered himself up for it, that he might sanctify it cleansing it by the laver of water in the word of life, that he might present it to himself, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So also ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself, for no man ever hated his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth it, as also Christ doth the church. Because we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they shall be two in one flesh. This is a great sacrament, but I speak in Christ and in the church. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular love, love for his wife as himself, and let the wife fear her husband. Deo gratias. Continuation of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Gloria tibi Domine. And there came to him the Pharisees, tempting him and saying, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause? Who answering said to them, Have ye not read that he who made man from the beginning made them male and female? And he said, for this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they too shall be in one flesh. Therefore, now they are not two, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. Last TV Christe. Christe. 